You know we in this thing. K A baby in this thing. You know when I start feeling like that, we either talk about why busy, young boy. We either talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So NBA young boy signs a deal with Motown. You know if my composer. I just did the take off video beforehand. I, hey, hey man. That's crazy. This nigga collab with them on Infinity. Man. Anyways. Anyways. What's up? What's happening? It's KA. We back in this thing. K so good. He sleep with a cut up a drone. You know the nigga on a ton. We here to talk about NBA Young Boy as he signs a deal with Motown. Now, we've been wondering where he's going to go, especially now, right? Because basically, if you haven't known, if you still think he's with Atlantic, he's not. Basically, I think in his contract that he's leaving, you have to have like a... Like, um... Uh, you do this in like fucking wrestling a lot when you leave like WWE or whatever. And you're trying to go somewhere else. You have like three months or like, nigga, we will pay your ass. But like, you can't go work nowhere else. Like, you got to sit down diminish your buzz and shit and then after the three months you go work anywhere the fuck you want so that's basically like that i think he's chilling for a couple months before he could like really go fuck with motown and drop shit under their thing so the tapes he has dropped after the last slime basically um what's it called reeler to um mom Ma mom i got a family and what was the other one fucking 3800 degrees um I think that's what it's fucking called. Reviews for the last two will be coming out. Mom, I got a family shit. Real two's already on the channel. With that being said, um, he's been doing like a little partnership with Atlantic. He still owns the fucking what's that shit called? He owns the masters to them, but they give him a little some money and they release it on their shit, some distribution shit. Anyways, but he has signed a deal with Motown. If you don't know, Motown has the Never Broke Again label there where he releases his collab projects as well. So that's what happens over there. So he signs a deal. It's probably worth a lot of money because why would the fuck would you not want NBA Young Boy? I'm pretty sure like as an artist who drops that frequently, he probably recoups his money fast. You're going to see that shit come back very quickly on what you spend on him. So it's not that bad. Probably signed it for whatever more than what fucking Atlantic was offering him. Do I believe this? I don't know what he wanted before. Well, probably, what well, Atlantic, well, at one point, they were trying to give him, like, what, 25, 26? Probably got more than that. Probably getting around 40, 40 to 50. So, more than Kodak, I be, and no disrespect to Kodak Black. When Kodak Black was trying to get 40 M, I believe they would give Young Boy more than 40. So, in but so between 40 to 50 M's, I would say, that's what his money's in. And they probably took, uh... Young boy likes to drop quickly, so probably in his contract, I feel like he can leverage it like, nigga, I can drop quick as fuck. I'm not waiting that long with them Atlantic boys trying to make me wait. I could drop quick as fuck, and they probably took me, okay, well, maybe every four months or something, you could drop some shit. I don't fucking know. But with that being said, um, it's just going to the same. So, NBA Young Boys historical, uh, by the way, this nigga trying to drop 10 tapes in it. This nigga crazy. But anyways. NBA Youngboy's historical 2022 run is far from over. On Friday, the Baton Rouge native... Oh, this is way fucking... Yeah, I'm a week late on this one. Uh, blessed fans with the release of Ma, I Got a Family, his fourth solo project of this year. The string of albums and mixtapes arrived after he inked a rumored 60M uh, deal with Atlantic. I don't think the new label gave him 60Ms. I remember that rumor was going... I don't think they gave him 60 That's just me. But anyways, clearly it was... Fruitful and never for both parties considering the surplus of music he dropped within a short window of time. However, it seems like his dealings with Atlantic Records might be over soon as he reportedly inked a new deal with Motown Records. According to Billboard, the new deal is expected to go into effect in 2023. The move isn't entirely shocking since YB is already in cahoots with Motown. In 2021, he inked a global venture deal between his label Never Broke Again and Motown, producing Never Broke Again, the compilation volume 1, and Green Flag Activity in 2022. Oh, fuck, he dropped that too. Like, ah, fuck, God, he dropped a group project. Another group compilation is in the pipeline for this Friday titled Nightmare on 38th Street. I don't think that came out or did it. It feels like NBA Youngboy is going to carry this momentum well into 2023 with his new deal. In addition to the flurry of projects he's dropping, his manager indicated that 
a tour is in works over the past few months, though YB's legal issues have prevented him from tra traveling. He and his team are clearly anticipating the moment when he's off house arrest. Hopefully that will align with his 2023 plans. Stay tuned for more information on NBA and Boys New Deal and keep your eyes peeled on Nightmare on 38th Street drop. Did that drop? Hold on. I actually got to go search for this now to know if it dropped. Because I, I, I honestly don't know. So, wait, Nightmare... Oh, it dropped. Oh. Yeah, there's like no fucking promotion for it at all. Like, came the fuck out. I was like, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it fucking did drop, yeah. Oh, Kondo not on this one, huh? Is 10 on here? Hold on, actually. Is my nigga 10 on here? Okay, yeah, yeah. Because my nigga 10 was going crazy. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. 10 been going crazy. I'm like, nah, if 10 ain't here, yeah, y'all ain't right. Oh, shit. Okay, this shit came out. My bad. It dropped on the 28th. My bad, sir. I didn't even know that shit came out. But Okay, so factual. It, it did come out. I, I just didn't pay attention to that. I don't really like the collab tapes. I ain't gonna like. He hasn't dropped like there has been decent music, but he hasn't dropped a collab tape that I've been like, yo, I gotta talk about this. This shit is fire. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, this is good for young boy. Hopefully, hey, he has more rain. I think he has the leverage to get more of what he wanted that Atlantic couldn't give him. And yeah, this is good for NBA young boy. I'm pretty sure they know he drops very fast. So they could probably structure a deal that benefits him and also benefits them. And you could probably get a better split on maybe publishing or the master's thing that he was uh, fighting with Atlantic for. And I feel at this point, the way he's dropping a lot of music, he's probably like, fuck it, I'm going to just make my whole new catalog because y'all ain't going to give me the masters for this shit. I'm going to just build me a whole new catalog and then run it up. Because I feel like he could get a hit, even though I still stay, uh, what was it? Still flexing, still stepping, whatever the album was. That shit was hard as fuck. It's probably like one of my favorite young boy tapes. Like AI young boy, like the third the original 38 baby, but like that shit, bro, at that time he dropped like whatever year that was, either 2020 or 2021, when he dropped like that Richard Kid collab. Like, that nigga dropped like six albums in a year. When I returned to that mixtape was hard as fuck. I like that shit. But yeah, hey, I'm happy for young boy. Hopefully he gets everything he wanted. And hey, the fans we eat in, we getting some good ass music and it is what it is. So let's see how this Motown deal helps him. And also, they don't even really have to put no money into promotion. They really don't really have to promote him that much. So, hey, let's see what happens with this thing. And let's see how it goes. But, yeah, what do you feel about this? You happy for your own boy? You feel like maybe they lowballed him and stuff? Or do you feel like he should just be independent? He shouldn't go sign to the next uh, major. This is the thing. Being independent is great, but sometimes niggas just want the money now. You know what I'm saying? Especially with, hey, if you don't know, hey. Sally in this world, niggas ain't got life expectancy like that. You want the money now to make sure everybody's straight. Hey, man, what do you feel about the little situation? Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. I got some other videos for y'all to check out. Besides all that, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood, K.A. Santa Alpha today. The black TJ Dead Wilder doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe. We trying to hit a little bit more though, you heard me? And I'm gone. Slime Zoom, P-Shot, Elsh Gang. R.I.P. Take off, you heard me? Hey.